Appearing in small type on the sidewall of every tire is important consumer information about such things as the tire size, speed rating, and when it was made. Here's how to understand that information so that you are well informed when selecting your next set of tires. Begin by looking for a long combination of letters and numbers, such as on this tire, P205-55R16-89V. The first letter, P, indicates the tire was designed to meet North American passenger car standards. Certain light truck tires also have the P designation, or the letters LT. If there are no letters at the beginning, it means the tire is Eurometric, or designed to European standards. If a Eurometric tire has the same numeric size as a P-metric, P205 55R16 versus 205 55R16, for example, and both are in the same tire performance category and have the same speed rating, the two tires are interchangeable if used in pairs on each axle. Eurometric and P-metric tires in the same size are equivalent in their dimensions, but check the load index. There may be slight differences in their load capacity calculations, especially if the aspect ratio is 40 or lower. The number 205 is the overall width of the tire from sidewall to sidewall in millimeters. After the slash mark, the next number in this case, 55, indicates the height of the tire from the bead to the tread. It is called the aspect ratio because it is a calculation of the sidewall height as a percentage of the overall width. In this case, the height of the sidewall is 55% of 205 millimeters. The next letter, R, indicates that this is a radial construction tire. The next number, 16, is the diameter of the wheel in inches. What other information can be obtained from reading the sidewall of the tire? Here, the number 89 indicates the tire's load index, how much weight a tire can carry when properly inflated. The larger the number, the more weight is designed to carry. The next letter, V, is the tire's speed rating. A V-rated tire is capable of sustained speeds of 149 miles per hour. Other speed ratings include S, rated for 112 miles per hour. T for 118, H for 130. A Z-rated tire is specially designed for speeds greater than 149 miles per hour. The letters M and S indicate a mud and snow tire. It's a tire that meets the standards for all season use. There's another alphanumeric code imprinted on one or both sidewalls. It consists of letters and numbers and begins with DOT, short for the U.S. Department of Transportation. Starting in the year 2000, tires were stamped with a four-digit birth date code indicating when the tire was made. A DOT number ending in 3409 means the tire was produced the 34th week of the year 2009. The first two letters after DOT indicate the plant where the tire was manufactured. Now, let's talk about something called the Uniform Tire Quality Grading, the UTQG. It's a federal law that requires tire manufacturers to grade their own tires for tread wear, traction, and temperature resistance. The law was designed to help consumers make general comparisons between tires. The Uniform Tire Quality Grade is shown as numbers or letters after the words tread wear, traction, and temperature. The tread wear number is a percentage of a baseline tire graded at 100 points. A tire marked 300 is graded to have three times the tread wear life as one graded 100. The traction rating comes from a straight line grip test on wet pavement. The highest grade AA is best, followed by A, B, then C. Temperature indicates the tire's resistance to heat generated by running at high speed. A is best followed by B, then C. Now that you've learned how to read the sidewall of your tires, you have the knowledge necessary to discuss the choice of the right tire with your authorized tire dealer.